In this video, we are going to show the proof of differentiation of cos of x is equal to minus of sin of x. The proof we are going to see in this. So to start with, as usual, let us take the basic formula, okay, which is differentiation of a function is equal to limit del x tends to 0, f of x plus del x minus f of x divided by del x. Now we know in this case f of x is equals to cos of x and f of x plus del x is equal to cos of x plus del x and this looks like to be in the form of cos of a plus b which can be written as if you see cos of a plus b can be written as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So if you rewrite that cos of x plus del x can be written as cos x cos del x minus sin x sin del x. So let us substitute this f of x plus del x into this and f of x into this and let us apply limit at del x tends to 0 when the denominator is del x. So let us substitute that so we will have cos of x plus del x minus cos of x whole divided by del x as limit del x tends to 0 the equation will be equal to the differentiation of cos of x. So we can rewrite this with limit del x tends to 0 cos of x cos of del x okay minus sine of x sine of del x okay minus cos of x whole divided by del x. Now what we're going to do is take the first term and take the third term take cos of x common in that okay and rewrite it. So by doing that let us take limit del x tends to 0 let's take cos of x common. We will have cos of del x minus 1 okay minus sin x sin del x okay like this divided by del x fine so which also can be written as limit del x tends to 0 we can write cos of x times cos of del x minus 1 okay divided by del x minus limit del x tends to 0 sine x times sine of del x divided by del x. We know that this term as del x is tending to 0 will tend to 0 and this term as del x tends to 0 tends to 1. So the resultant will be 0 minus sine of x. Okay, So this we can write it as okay this whole thing which we derived is nothing but d by dx of okay let me write it d by dx of cos of x which is equal to we have seen 0 minus sin of x which is minus sin of x. So we have shown that by using the basic formula we can find out the differentiation of standard functions as well as any function okay thank you for watching.